Hello everyone, as you can see, we have the Imperial Death Trooper credit collection, which is an Amazon exclusive in front of us. We have the other credit collection figures that I've received thus far. We've got Cara Dune, and then over on this side, you know, we've got the heavy infantry Mandalorian as well. Um, out of the three of them, this is the one that I've been waiting for the most. Uh, so I'm looking forward to taking a closer look at them. The other thing I've been looking forward to is the other day I was able to find a dogfish 120 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy that while we're taking a look at this. Um, so anyways, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the outside of the box on this figure. We're going to go ahead and unbox him. Then we're going to go ahead and take a look at his articulation. As far as I know, the only Imperial Death Troopers that we've seen thus far are uh, from Rogue One. So this will be interesting to take a closer look at this figure. As we're doing that, if you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. If you're liking the video, give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so like I said, this is the one that I was looking forward to the most. It was actually the only one that I was planning on getting, uh, but then I started seeing deals and I was like, well, let's go ahead and get the other ones too. And I'm glad that I have uh, thus far. Uh, so yeah, so if you guys don't know, the credit uh, collection is basically figures that are based on the ending credits from The Mandalorian, so they're stylized and whatnot, that's why they've got the, the funky colors. Um, and something that's cool is you do get a, a plastic credit, um, it is a different color with each figure, apparently, because <laughs> we've got three figures in three different colors, um, and as you can see, the figure is stylized, so we'll take a closer look at that, um, but apparently this is the image that it's based off of let's go ahead and read it what, what it has on the back here it says this distinctive collection features premium deco applications inspired by the end credit images from the mandalorian plus a collective imperial credit accessory after the fall of the galactic empire usage of their form of money imperial credits became less common with many planets refusing payments in the currency on principle uh, so I would not collect these figures just for the credits. They are cheap plastic, uh, but you know, they're kind of cool and it's different. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the figure. I'm not, uh, planning on collecting the box, so I'm just going to get into the, the bubble here as easy as I possibly can. Actually came out rather well, so we'll go ahead and put that up there. Got our credit right there, and then got a sidearm. True blaster, we'll take a closer look at that rifle in just a moment. And the figure himself. And I'll go ahead and get cleaned up, and we'll be right back. All right, just in case I didn't say before, we did unbox these other credit collection figures on the channel, and I'll probably create a playlist so that way you'll have access to all three of them, and I'll leave that down in the description as well. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the credit first. Like I said, it is pretty cheap plastic. It is cool to have, though, um, and this one is more bronze than the other ones. Uh, the heavy infantry is definitely more of a... A silver color and got this one here which is a, a lighter shade of bronze all right so let's go ahead and take a look at this guy first because the rifle here actually looks really good the detail on it is good and then I like the fact that it's not just one color uh, we've got you know some red ish color there red on the on the top of the barrel there and some other highlights as well. So I think this, they did a good job with this rifle. I, I really like that. Uh, and then uh, he does have a sidearm as well. I believe that's going to be the way that we're going to put that in there. I appreciate the fact that we do have a holster for it as well. So they don't always do that. This one's kind of plain. But it does have some good detail on it as well. So... All right, so articulation. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, helmet, wow, head goes all the way down. We've got, yeah, it's got all the way down movement, which is nice. Doesn't really have side to side. Doesn't have, oh, it does have the left and right. There we go. Maybe it was just a little stiff. That, that could be. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, basically it has really good up and down, uh, mostly down, uh, and it can do the full 360. The arms do go up pretty well. You just need to make sure that the, the rubber on the pads are able to get the full movement. There you go. You will see the backing there. Some wear and tear on here on the figure. I don't know. That was not my knife. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's not necessarily bad. You know, he's meant to be in battle. So I'm not going to complain too much, I suppose. I don't know. Some of this plastic looks, looks a little cheap. Not up to the normal Black Series standards. I do like the detail here on the forearm. As you can see, we are getting the 90 there. Let's see, we don't get a turn at the upper arm, though. We are able to get good left and right on that, full 360. And then it's going to be very similar, I would imagine, on this other arm. Not as much detail elements on this, but I do like the, the orange speckle. Uh, and this one is also a left right. That's interesting. Torso gets good movement. If you look at the back, like we were showing before, it's a little chewed up here on mine. If yours is as well, you know, let me know because I'm kind of curious as to if that's just this figure or whatnot. Um, and then we've got the belt, which is looks like it's not attached, but I don't think it's going to come off. Uh, and that's what the holster is on. I like the fact that the holster is not attached uh, to the leg, so that way you are able to get the full turns. We do have a double knee. That's got some good movement there. And normal with the ankles as well. That ankle is super loose. Might need to use something on that. All right. So, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead, take some pictures. I'll be right back uh, after those pictures. We'll talk about maybe things that I learned, maybe things that I like or don't like about the figure as well. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed those pictures. It definitely gave me a better chance to go ahead and take a look at this figure to see what his articulation actually is. Um, I actually really like the fact that his knees uh, bend really well. I like the fact that um, there's nothing really blocking the movement on the knees. Sometimes on the troopers, you have the plastic over pieces, the knee guards or whatever. Those sometimes get in the way. This guy is perfect. Um, one of the complaints that I do have, though, is I wish that this hand had the up-down movement. I just can't get a really good, like, aiming position with two hands on it with that left-right motion. But, I mean, he looks pretty awesome uh, the way he does. So, I'm not going to complain other than that. Uh, the figure, I think he's... the. The stylized look to the, the credit collection, I think, is really awesome as well. I like the orange on there and the purple. I think it goes really well uh, with the collection and also just with other Mandalorian figures as well. So uh, I think I said before, I'll go ahead and leave a link down below to the link uh, on Amazon if you're interested in taking a closer look yourself. Uh, if you're liking the video, again, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask down below. Uh, and no, I'm not done with the 120 minute yet. Um, anyways, so uh, yeah, with that, if uh, if you are interested in Star Wars The Black Series uh, outside of just this video, I do invite you to subscribe to the channel. We do a lot of things that are Star Wars related, Black Series related, uh, but we also do other things as well, like going to theme parks, uh, home, home automation, uh, video games, other things like that. Basically anything a professional geek might find interesting and myself being a professional geek, I hope you find it interesting as well. And with that, hope you have a great day. Mm -hmm.